Hey, just Jay here for Alpha Graphics Bountiful. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix some parts on the DJI Inspire. Recently, I was out shooting a video in Hawaii, doing a real estate video, and I was flying this bad boy and flew a little bit too close to something and just ripped the camera right off. And along with that, busted up a bunch of parts but anyway, figured since I looked around and saw that all the parts were back ordered almost everywhere, that I would do a video about this because probably a lot of other people have broken these exact same parts too. I wanted to give a big shout out to um, Drones Made Easy. I looked everywhere, B&H, Adorama, a bunch of places had the parts on back orders. Some of them even had like the parts listed wrong as far as like the picture of the part wasn't the same as the part there. And um, looked around and found that Drones Made Easy had the parts in stock and 10 minutes after making my order, they called me up and said, hey, we just wanted to confirm that this is your order. We just got the, all these parts in stock um, and wanted to ship it out right now. So Drones Made Easy, based on my experience, they were awesome to work with. So props to them. So these are the cables I'm replacing. They should be fine, but I want to replace them anyway because this connector got a little bit damaged and uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And it was only $4. So anyway, um, they're easy enough to disconnect this one. You just push the little tab in and it pulls the cable right out. And then you take the, the new one and just pop it right in like that and so now that new one's right in there and the nice thing is it uses the same connector on both ends so it doesn't matter which way you put it uh, then this one's a little bit bigger connector and to detach this this front cable you have to take this whole front unit off so i don't know i'm calling it the nose cone i'm sure it has a different name but that's what i'm going to call it uh, and so you need an allen wrench for that so we'll go ahead and i'll speed up this part Looks like you need a Phillips head for the top here, and there's two screws. Make sure you don't lose any screws, and so there were two Phillips in the bottom of this, and two shorter ones and two longer ones with the uh, Allen head on it. So just remember where they go. And now, just pull the cable out front. The cable's hanging out front. Flip it over. I'm gonna push down on the tab. My finger doesn't fit in there very well, so I'll push down on the tab and pull on it. And that cable comes out, the broken one. And then grab my new cable. So take this new cable and pop it right in and then feed it back through the bottom and you've got the new cables hanging out. So perfect. I'm not gonna put the nose cone back on just yet. Um, I wanna do some of the other repairs first. I could probably do it right now, but I'm gonna hold off. So next that we're gonna install is the gimbal mount and mounting plate. So this is the gimbal mount and mounting plate that I bought. The gimbal mount, which is packed in foam, and it's got the connectors right there. You've got the shock absorbers, four of those, and then you've got the little screws. And the little screws are to attach the gimbal mount to the mounting plate. And if you look on my old mounting plate, it basically shows you how it all goes together. So So now I've got that together and it's put together just like the old broken one. 
just a tip, side note, uh, on my end cap, you can see on my old one, I put a little, I painted a little yellow line and that's so that when I'm actually putting the cap on, I can line it up because when it's black all the way around, sometimes it's hard to know which way it needs to go on and it takes a few tries before you get it. So just put a little mark there on the cap and you'll be able to get it on straight every time first try and then lock it in. So this is the old part and this is the new part. I'm going to now uh, install the rubber shock absorbers. So if we flip this over, take the rubber shock absorber, kind of have to just tuck it through and take the next one and tuck it through. The ones that originally came with it, some of them were a little bit longer. They had that longer end on it. These new ones, all of them are exactly the same, but these old ones, for whatever reason, had a longer end on it. And then you've got two more right here. So you just tuck that in that hole. And these ones might be a little bit trickier just because they're down in there a little bit further. And this might be why they had the longer ones because you could tuck it through and then pull on them. And I'd recommend installing them through this part first on the actual quad because it's a lot easier to poke them through this way and then pull them through this way than it is to do the other way around. So anyway, now we take our mounting plate and uh, the gimbal mount and we plug in our cables. I'm plugging in the big one first and then we'll plug in the smaller cable. Just push this down so the top part comes through and then grab that little top part that comes through and it'll pop through all the way just like that. So now we have the gimbal mount all installed and ready to go with the, with the new cables attached. So now we're ready to put the nose cone back on. And then the last part don't do what I did. <laughs> so there's two screws that go in here. So I'm going to have to actually detach this. Hopefully you aren't following along with this tutorial step by step because if you did, I just gave you an extra step. And I'm good to go. So got that nose cone back on there, everything's attached. We got a nice solid mount on there, new cables, everything's ready to go. So this is the, the camera. You've got the filter and you've got the camera. Just so you know, the camera does not come with an SD card, so luckily I still had my camera, so I should be able to still use my SD card as long as it's not corrupted. So I got all the new parts installed for the gimbal on this and the camera. Uh, everything's all fixed, and so this will be the first flight out. Everything looks to be working well. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a first flight and check out the footage. That is how you install those parts. Install the basic parts that I bet a lot of people have broken. Uh, so the takeaway from this, don't fly too close to things. Don't crash this thing. But if you do, uh, those are probably going to be the common parts that you bust. And like I said, go to Drones Made Easy. Didn't, they're not sponsoring me or anything. I just found them online and they were the people that had the parts. And honestly, their customer service was just awesome. They got me the part as soon as possible and they went the extra mile. Hopefully this video was useful for you. I respond to every comment. So if you leave a comment below, you're gonna get a response from me. Hey, thanks for watching and we'd love to hear your feedback, whether it's positive or negative, so we can continue to improve our channel. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe.